Hello and welcome to the video. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the pop-up extensions that you can make um, for Chrome. Now in this example we're going to be using the extension I made recently in my Skillshare course um, where you could make a extension similar to Honey. Um, so I'll show you quickly what this extension looks like. So if you go to a shop here like Amazon it shows this um, area in the corner of the page which if you click on it it will show you um, any coupons that users have added and you can just click here and it will copy that to clipboard and you can obviously submit coupons here um, it's quite a rough design as you can see but it gives you a, a really good indication of how you can actually put an extension together that can be used for building a Chrome extension like this now one question I've had quite a lot recently is how would people be able to adapt this extension to appear up here in a pop-out. So if I click on this area up here, you can see that it shows the information like this. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview into how these pop-out um, or pop-up extensions work and how you can actually use this to adapt your extensions that you're working on to be like this. But also one of the things that you need to think about is how can you communicate between this uh, content script extension here, which has a background page, and the pop-up um, area just here. So I'm gonna cover all of these different aspects and then let you know how you can put together this area like this. So if you've already taken my course, this um, will be quite helpful. You will already have this code to hand, but if you haven't, you can still get an idea of the actual functions that you need to use to be able to send messages and events between the different areas of the content script and the background page and the pop-up. So to begin with, let's look at our manifest file to see what changes you have to make to actually get this to work. So here is my updated manifest um, for this extension. Now, as you can see, it's using my coupon finder uh, manifest um, with one slight change. So you can see just here, we have a attribute here called browser action and default pop-up. And this points to our popout.html page, which is the HTML content of this area just here. So if I open that page, just here, you can see it's a standard HTML page. This um, width that we've set here is what changes the actual width of this um, pop-up. So if I made this smaller, and then opened it again, you can see it shrunk right down. And we just change that back so it's more readable. Um, and then you have, um, similar to what you would have done with normal Chrome extensions, you can just add this in directly here. So similar to a new tab extension where you set in the HTML, if it's a content script, you have to inject it directly um, like we did here. Um, but for the pop-out, you put it in like this, and then we link to a JavaScript file. So you can't actually use JavaScript directly on this HTML page, but you can include a JavaScript file just here. So in this JavaScript file, we start to actually make calls to our background page to populate our coupons. So the way this works, if I just jump to this first example here, so it works by using the send message event, but not in the same way that you would have if you're just communicating between your content script and your background page. In this example, you first need to find the active tab. So that's why it's important that in your manifest, you have um, permissions to access the active tab just here. So as long as you have that, this code will work. So what you basically do is, here I have it set up to use a click event, um, but it could be anything you want really just here. And then we call Chrome tabs, and then we send a query here. We want the current window, so the current active tab, and then that'll give us a callback just here of all of the different tabs. And if we get the first tab here, so we're calling the tabs array just there, and we're getting the first item, and we're setting this as active tab, and then instead of using Chrome runtime send message, we say Chrome tabs send message. We pass in the ID of this active tab that we've set just here, and then we send a message here. So I'm just using the attribute command and then, and then open modal. So if I look in my app.js, which will actually receive this request. So at the top here, I've added a different um, bit of code just here. So before we were, all we were doing in our app.js was sending requests. Now we need to actually listen to any requests sent to us. So we can say Chrome runtime on message add listener. So similar to what we would do in our background page, 
um, if you've done the course already, you'll know what I mean with that. Um, but otherwise not, this is just a way that you can listen to any messages that have been sent to this specific um, JavaScript file or you know part of the extension. And then you can add a console log just here, which can help let you know if your request or message has been listened to. And then we just simply say here, if message command equals open modal, which was the um, request, yeah, the command that we sent just here, if that matches, then what we're doing is we're performing an action with our content script. So further down this page, um, I have an event listener for if this area just here is clicked. And if it is, it opens my extension. So if I just show you what this code would look like, so if I just stop this from being hidden, you can see here, this is my open modal event just here. So if we click that and then click open, you can see it's hiding and closing the area behind, which is all set up from our content script. But now let's say you want to communicate with your background page. So that's how you communicate with the content script. Let's see how we would actually populate the coupons that we have here for this page. So if we look back over here, we can see that we have this area just here, which says there's the name of the coupon code and a little description about the coupon. So if we look in our extension before, we can see it just here. But how would we do that from a pop-out extension? So if we jump back into our code here and go to our pop.js, we can see down here, we have a function that runs when the page loads. So down here, this is the event we are looking at before. And then down here, we have um, more code here that will run when the page has opened. So the first thing we need to do is capture the domain name of the active tab. So similarly to what we were doing earlier, where we were trying to send a message to our content script, we needed to get the current tab. Well, in this example, we're doing exactly the same thing as you can see here, Chrome, tabs, and a query. We want the current window, we want the active tab. Then we set that as our variable again. But what we're doing is we're trying to grab the domain name. So we're saying active tab, so from this variable just here. Then we're getting the URL attribute from this object. And then we're just running a, uh, we're just cleaning this URL up, so to speak, so that we only get the domain name. And then we pass that through to our background page. So this is how you would send a request as, us as you usually would to your background page. And then from here, we can actually pass this information and send it to another function. So down here, Again, we just run this through a function which updates our coupon list with our coupons from our database. So as you can see here, when we run this function, when we open it up, this populates. So if I was to add another um, coupon to our database and then reopen, you can see this coupon's been added just here. So there you can see that the um, function is working. It's connecting to our background page and updating this information just here. So in the actual front end, we just set a blank um, unordered list. But up here, you can see as soon as we run this code just here, it updates and shows it. Finally, one thing you might be looking to do for your um, coupon, so if you're actually specifically making a coupon extension, you might want either to, to copy these to clipboard, in which case from a pop-up extension, you can use the same code as you would anywhere else to copy this to clipboard but you might actually want to open this in a new tab so that you can take advantage of um, setting a cookie so you can get an affiliate um, referral and, and things like this. So to do that, you need to use a piece of code like this. So we want to set a, um, a variable that just is the URL to this um, link. So for example, that could be just a, here's a standard link. So it's amazon.com and then we've got the query attributes of the coupon with a, a coupon name, for example, or that could be your referral code then all you need to do is say Chrome tabs create and then pass the URL through like this. So then if we test this again, what we'll find is I've, um, for now I've put this onto the open modal function. Um, so if we click this button, it should try and open a new tab. So if we just click it, we can see there we go, it's opening a new tab of Amazon. But that is how, how you can actually update your extension to take advantage of the um, browser action and having a pop-up part to your extension. So you can have more of the screen available to your actual, to the websites rather than taking it up, um, you know, with the areas like this, for example, unless it's not going to be used. So users could just click up here and start to use this directly. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. 
Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful.